How are you doing, my lovely Libras? Hope y'all been good. Let's see what's going on with you this week. Okay, remember, it could be Libra that I'm talking to. It could be the class watcher or a third party. Please thumbs up my video. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. If you like the vibe, if you like what you listen, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. Um, thumbs down too. Listen, it can help circulate, okay, to the people that need to hear this, okay? Because some of you won't resonate, but a lot of people need to hear um, some messages, okay? So let's see what's going on while um, Libra's here. Not in progress for my own spiritual guys and my DDs that are here. I appreciate you. Let's see what's going on. What is the overall message for Libra here? What else for Libra? Romance coming in. Romance is coming in, Libra. Somebody is going to take all these burdens that you've been going through. But I feel like you want romance, you want love, but you do not want it. It's like weird when I'm picking up. I feel like, you know, you're so used to being alone and you're so used to like, you know, removing the burdens by yourself, you know, that it's like you don't want nobody to come in and help you remove nothing is what I'm picking up. Wow. You know, and I feel like romance is coming in for you. You feel me? But you're guarded in some type of way. It's like you've learned, you know, to get out of crazy energies, like energies that were disturbing you. Like you've learned to like get out of um, depression, anxiety, like burdens, like things that would bother you. I feel like you're in a different place now, you know, with that... Um, eight of swords upside down you feel me like i feel like you know the romance that wants to come in is a person that's you know wants to help you they're also guarded by the way th this person coming in is also guarded very afraid you know to move forward you know but i feel like you've done this so much on your own already it's like i don't want nothing i don't want nobody you feel me? Like, I don't want nobody to be with me. I don't need nobody to fix me. I can fix my damn self. It's the way that I'm picking up on Libras. I mean, Libras, come on, you're the balance. You love balance. You feel me? Libras are kings and queens that compromise. They like peace to bring, uh, between each. They like to bring peace, you know, with everyone. And if they don't see peace and if they don't see balance in situations, they're out of there. You feel me? A lot of Libras put up with shit. But when they see this imbalance and they don't see balance and they see no compromising in anything, they will move the fuck out of the way <laughs> with that page of swords. And they won't put up with no shit, you feel me? You know? But there's romance coming in. Let's find out. What else for Libra here? What is the overall energy between you right here? The nine of wands. Somebody here and you had a lot of problems here. Is what I'm picking up. But at the end of the day, I feel like this person coming in, you and this person to get to fix things. Okay? Because this person loves you, Libra. This person... You know, wants to build stability with you, wants to build something with you. But it's like you're so guarded and it's like you're willing to fight, but you're willing not to fight. You feel me? But I feel like you and this person are going to get into a much better space, connection, you know, friendship, whatever it is, a romance, whatever it is. You're going to come to compromise with each other, but it's going to be a lot of like heavy conversations and probably heavy arguing about certain things that need to be fixed 
And before I forget, because I'm forgetting everything, I mean the signs. We could be dealing here with um, um, a Gemini, a Libra, Sagittarius. Hold on a minute. What else for you, please? Aries energy. I'm just saying it like that because I'm going to forget it. Yeah, somebody here is thinking a lot about you. You're thinking a lot. Like, Libra, you've been thinking a lot about a person, and you don't know what to do. You don't know if to jump into the situation. You don't know if to keep moving. You don't know if to just, like, you know, go forward and do it. You don't know what to do. It's like you're so confused. You're into your head. Because you've done everything on your own. You've taken all those swords off your back by your damn self. All those burdens that were around you. Yes, you do have burdens still. Yes, you have your little moments there. But everything that was really, really heavy on you, that was fucking you up emotionally and physically, you've learned how to manage to take it off by your damn self. And I feel like you're so used to being by yourself, it's like... You're not used to being with somebody anymore. And it's like you feel like if you get with somebody, it's like you're going to turn your back right away is what I'm feeling. Or they're going to harm you in some type of way and you're going to turn around because you don't want to get hurt, Libra. Is what I'm picking up for Libra. You don't want to get hurt. But I see a lot of blessings coming in. I see, listen, Libras, if you see a lot of birds, doves, because, you know, I've been seeing a lot of white doves, but now in the card I saw doves. Even black doves. Like, if you're seeing doves, those are signs from your spiritual guides. You know? See what you're thinking at that moment. See what you're asking that moment. See what, you know, what happened that day or the day before or what's going to happen the day after. Even the week, that week. Those are messages, okay? For the most part, I feel like you're thinking about just getting up and going for some reason. You know? Like, I feel like you're tired, too, of... You know, your energy, your surroundings. I feel like you just want to pick up and go. I feel like some of y'all need a vacation is what, I'm, is what I'm picking up here. Y'all very stressed out is what I'm picking up here. Hold on a minute. What else for me, bro? An offer coming in. That's my money card. Listen, that's my money card, Libras. So, listen. What, listen. You could be dealing with the Taurus. You see that balance? You see that scale? That's what Libras are all about, balance, okay? You might be getting an offer of something. It doesn't have to be money. It could be an offer of love. It could be an offer, you know, of a new job. It could be an offer, you know, of, um, you know, something, a gift that's going to be given to you. Or it could be an offer of love. But to me, that's my money card. So I feel like you guys are mostly focused on doing yourselves, you know, making money for stability in your home in your life but at the same time it's like when you get into your energy you think a lot about like you know where am I going to end up am I going to be alone for the rest of my life do I jump over and get into a relationship I feel like you're confused Libra I feel like a lot of you are confused and don't even know how to fix it you don't know in your mind how to really to like sit down and really like Put the pieces together is what I'm trying to say. And like say, you know what? I'm going to do this when it comes to romance and love. That's the only thing I see here wrong with Libra. It's like, I feel like you don't feel like you're worth anything. And you are worth it. Nobody should feel like that. You don't see yourself worth me, bro. If somebody's trying to show it to you, you don't, you're ignoring that. Anybody that comes your way and shows you your self-worth, you ignore it. And you turn around and you don't give a fuck. Deep down inside, you're hurting a lot, Libra. Because you don't see your self-worth. You don't see how beautiful and charming and how much you're worth it. A lot of people, you have a lot of options. A lot of people have offered you romance, love, you know, dates, chilling, whatever, and you've turned everybody away. You need to recognize your worth, Libra. The magic inside of you, the beautifulness inside of you, Libras, you're very charming people. 
okay? Well balanced. You know, you like things to be pleasant, you know, pleasant. You need to put that all together and, you know, try to find yourself, your worth. Because somebody here is coming with an offer of romance. And it could be somebody that could even help you financially. Because I feel like a lot of you, yes, you're doing you and your money. But I feel like, like a lot of you don't even want no help from anybody. It's like, I could do it on my own. It's like you're firmly saying it. I don't need no fucking body. I do it on my own. And this is the energy I'm picking up for Libras. For a lot of Libras. Like, uh-uh. I do this on my own. You don't need to help me. You feel me? But Libras, you need help. Like some, every, everybody needs help. You feel me? But I don't feel like you're looking at yourself worth and you're worth more than words can say. The page of wands. I mean, somebody's been watching you, Libra. Somebody's that got, listen, somebody got their eyes on you. Somebody wants to be with you. Somebody's not going to stop until they get you. Okay? Look, the emperor in reverse. Like, you're, you're not having it. It's like you're not having it. I feel like a lot of you Libras are giving up. When it comes to love, you're giving up. Because of so much pain and hurt you've been through. A lot of emotional and mental PTSD going on here, I see. You may want you may want to check into that. Because that has you probably thinking the way that you're thinking, you feel me? And, you know, the emperor coming out in reverse. It's like, you know, you don't want, with, with love, it's like you're confused. You don't know what to do. You have no idea when it comes to love, what the hell to do. You feel me? That's the areas. I mean, I feel like... You need to get into your space, Libra, and think about things, you know? I don't know. Like, you're a very dominant person, Libra. I'm even going to lie. Excessive, you feel me? You're very controllable, you feel me? But I feel like... Somebody here, for some of your Libras, could have been hurt very much by a male figure. I'm picking up a male figure. Take it how it, how it resonates. I have, um, I have gay couples. I have gay people. I have lesbians, and I have um, the LGBT community in my channel. So take it how it resonates. But I feel like it's a man here. Picking up a male, that energy of picking up a male hurt you really bad. And this has caused you so much pain. And you don't move forward. You, 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 it's not that you can't move forward. It's that you don't want to move forward because of this pain this person put you through. The pain that this person, this man caused you. You went through hell and back. You learned how to get out of that. Look at this card. You went through hell. Almost died is what I'm hearing. You learned how to get out of that. Okay. You have offers coming in. You've had offers, many offers, and you've turned them all down is what I'm picking up for some of y'all. And some of y'all just thinking about... You don't know what to do. If to move forward, to move backwards, you don't know if to jump into a relationship or not. But romance is coming in and somebody's going to fight for you. They're not going to see that. They're going to fight for you. And I feel like for some of y'all, whoever here is coming in, when y'all lock eyes, that's going to be it right there. This person could have like um, caramel light eyes or maybe hazel color eyes you might have children you know you might have children this person might have children or your inner child is messing with you i feel like something here is messing with you like i said somebody here hurt somebody 
and it might be old wounds that don't let you move on trauma you feel me trauma don't let you move on you feel me if that's happening to you you need to look into yourself because you've overcome so many things you've overcome death i'm hearing you moved you moved that out of your way you feel me but i feel like you most libras like to be alone like to have a lot of control and power over everything so you put power over yourselves You could be dealing here with Sagittarius and Aries, a Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aries again, Scorpio. Listen, Libras, you need to like, you know, look into your self-worth and start all over again. I understand there's a lot of pains that we don't understand. Everybody goes to different pains, you feel me? But if you overcome so much shit in your life, you feel me? Like you could still overcome things, you feel me? And don't be alone. Everybody deserves to be with somebody, you feel me? Stop thinking about it. You know, because I feel like some of y'all turn a lot of options down. Like, a lot of people come at you. You feel me? Because they want to date. They, You know, they want to be with you. They want to do things with you. You feel me? They want to chill with you. You turn everybody down is what I'm picking up for a lot of Libras here. Damn, Libras, what's up? Like, what's going on? Let me see. There's somebody coming in. What is this person's intention towards Libra Peace? What is this person's intention towards Libra Peace? Inera? This person sneaking in. Hold on a minute. What else? This person might have gone through hell. And is like sneaking in to your energy. Oh my God. No, she did not say that on the back. I'm not going to say what my ancestors just said. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> here we go. There she goes. No, she didn't. I feel like somebody here is sneaking in because they're scared of you. Not scared of you. Like physically scared of you. They're going to do something to them. But I feel like they, took, they, they, move, they have to move in real, real, real slow. Look at this card. Like. I'm noticing now the cards, and they're hilarious to me. I don't know. You see how this person is holding all those swords and just one in their hand, like sneaking around the corner with some type of sneaky fuckery? I feel like this person is moving into Libra, like very sneaky, very slow. Like, let me be careful because I don't know if Libra pops out, what they're going to say, what they're going to do. That type of fuckery because they want to come in like this to offer you love. To give you love. To give you what you need. That's funny because I don't really... When I'm reading, I just pick up on what my ancestors or, um, you know, or Chung is saying. And I don't really look at the... Yeah, I look at the cards, but I don't focus on the cards. But when I saw that, that was hilarious. The way that they put it in my head. Like, <laughs> they, I don't want to say what she said because it was very late. Like, what else for, um, what is this person's intentions for Libra, please? <laughs> I mean, hey, look at this. The Queen of Swords, my God. This person could be a bitch if they want to. This person could be, you know, a lot of things if they want to. This person could be sneaky if they want to. This person could be a liar if they want to. This person could love if they want to. This person could be all kind of things coming in. So no wonder... Libras, you're so guarded up. I feel like this person is going to fight for you. They ain't going to have it. And I feel like if you to connect, you feel me, and something happens, this person's going to blow up or some shit like that. I feel like this person's not going to have it. For some reason, this person wants to love you. They want to give you offers. They might even offer marriage to you. But I feel like they're ready. But they're ready with their swords up. Like, uh-uh, I'm coming for you and I'm getting you. But they're sneaking in. <laughs> the way that she's telling me, bro, I can't say what she's saying in the back. Like, are you serious? She's saying some crazy shit in the back. Like, is she funny? I mean, it's not that bad, Libra. It's just you got to go into yourself and find yourself worth. You are worth it. You know? 
You are worth it. Don't ever think you're not worth it. Whatever you went through in life, you're supposed to go in life, you know? Everybody goes through things, like I said. But whatever life gives you, throws at you, you have to learn how to deal with it. You feel me? And work your way. You've gone through hell and back. You feel me? And you've made it out. You got to keep moving and find happiness. Because if you just think about it and think about it and don't move and turn everybody down and just like, I don't give a fuck, you're not going to find happiness for yourself with someone. Now, if you want to stay alone, you feel me? Because some people like to be alone. Then that's all good and, and gravy. You feel me? Stay alone. But somebody's coming in. So get ready, Libra. Get ready, Libra, because somebody's coming in. Are you gonna turn them out? Are you gonna turn them down, or are you gonna accept them? That's the question. What is the advice you're gonna give us, please? What is the advice, Minera? What is the advice for Libra? What else? Okay. I'm gonna tell you another person, please, so. I'm just playing with her because she was talking so much crazy stuff in the back. It says, Beloved, prepare, prepare for a life partner. Romance is returning to your relationship. Believe you are lovable. I cannot make this shit up, even if I motherfucking try. Romance is coming. Believe that you are lovable. Believe that you are loved. I feel like some of y'all don't feel like you should be loved for some reason. You know, somebody's coming into off your relationship. You need to know that you you're worth being loved. For some reason, somebody's stopping you. Whatever it is, you know, this person might even help you with. So it's the light. Count your blessings and enjoy life. Take pleasure in simple things. Always ex expect the best. So the simple things is what you like. You feel me? Like, you know, simple things. Delight yourself with simple things. You feel me? Take pleasure in anything the world gives you. Take pleasure in any little thing that you have. Okay? And expect the best of it. Because any little thing could be a big thing for anybody. You feel me? Magic, make a wish, believe in miracles. Magic surrounds you. So you know what? You have things, a lot of blessings surrounding you, your guides, you know, your angels, whatever you believe in is surrounding you. Magic can happen for you. You just gotta make it happen for yourself. I feel like I feel like they're on top of you, like do it, do it, and you're like hold back. Okay? You need to look into that deeper because you are worth it. Is there anything here for Libra, please? Is there anything here for Libra? Okay. Straight to the floor. It says balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So yeah, that's what you're looking for. Balance. Not only one-sided. You're looking for two sides of balance. Is what the, it's what the message is here. Of course, you're a Libra. Everything has to be balanced out. So, you know, a great relationship is the one that supports its challenges. You feel me? So, this person coming could, might be a person that could, you know, help you with your challenges, okay? And not for the sake of it. Do it because you want to. You feel me? That's the message. Only time will tell. So your spirit is letting you know, your guys are letting you know, only time will tell what's going to happen with you and this person. Is there any overall message for this um, reading? Give me one. Give me one. Which one? Give me one. I'm going to Let me see. It says, true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So this person coming in, Libra, might be the person that you belong with. It might be a soulmate connection. It might just be a romance of a lifetime that you don't even know. You didn't even expect it. And you haven't even, you know, been there to know. You feel me? This person's coming in. Separation, time apart from your partner is in the horizon. 
somebody who was separated and it was hurtful. Somebody who was separated from somebody was hurtful. That might be the person coming back in. Let me see. This could be um this could be past, present, or future. What does this person want to tell me? What else? What else? Let me see. It says, I just wasn't ready for you. So this person, I feel like you know this person, they're coming back. They weren't ready for you. At the moment in time that y'all were together or y'all were dealing with each other or y'all were in a commitment whatever it was they were not ready for you i'm not the same person that you remember so this person's changed this person's not the same anymore whatever happened here changed this person completely you know maybe the loss of you two not being together or whatever happened here this person's not the same anymore is it possible to forgive and forget? This person, Libra, wants you to forgive them. I mean, I don't know about forgetting because you can't forget things. But they want you to forgive and forget about what happened. And they might be coming in to offer you love. You know this person. For some of y'all. For some of y'all. It could be a person that you know. A friend or something that's coming in. I can still feel you. So no matter what happened with you and this person, if you went together, if you were not seeing this person, if y'all fell out, if y'all broke, whatever it is, that person can still feel you. They feel you. They love you. This person loves you a lot. Let me see. Is there anything here for you, bro? Give me one. Of this person. Give me one. What does this person want to say? Give me one. Oh, she almost threw the whole little deck down. Give me one. What does this person want to tell Libra? Anything here? Anything here? No, there's nothing here. Let me see. What does this person want to tell Libra? Is there anything here? I love these little decks. Is there anything here? What does this person want to tell Libra? It says, I'm not sure how to best approach you. I'm thinking about it. So this person, like I said, that sneaky little card over there that I, I'm going to call it the sneaky card. I swear to God, because I never noticed that. I'm going to call it a sneaky card. This person does not know how to approach you. I feel like they're nervous. They're scared to approach you. They don't even know what to say. I don't know what happened between y'all, but this is how they're coming in. Let me see. Let me see. What do you want to say to this person, Libra? Is there anything you want to say? Okay, there's a lot you want to say, Libra. So, my ancestor and my own, which one we're picking up? I don't feel this way with anyone else. So, Libra, you don't feel any, you know this person, you don't feel this way with anybody else. I'm trying to forget you, it's not working. So Libra, you've tried to forget this person and you just can't. I'm sorry I was mean to you. It's a defense mechanism. Really, bro? Mechanism, I was going to say. I'm sorry I was mean to you. It's a defense mechanism. I can't say it. Mechanism. Oh my God, no. Shit. This is the time when I got to be live. Mechanism. Did I say it right? No, I didn't. But yeah, it's a defense. Listen, motherfuckers. It's a fucking defense. You know? You know? Don't fuck with me. You feel me? Like, Libras want to say, I'm sorry I was mean to you. It's a defense that I got going on here. You feel me? You say something to me, I'm going to say it back. I'm just playing. I just can't say the word today. I don't know. Weird. I have old cycles, old wounds, karma, and old patterns to clear up. I'm working on it. So, Libra, you have old wounds, old karmas, old things you got to deal with. I cannot make this shit up. You need to um, clear whatever old wounds, those old cycles that has kept you in that karmic, you know, place 
those old warm those old wounds if you don't fix them are gonna leave you in those old patterns and that old karma like you're thinking about things that you shouldn't be thinking about you need to clear those patterns okay and you're working on that and I see that you've worked on it you've worked on it a lot but you need to do a little more work okay Libra I know that you're worth it let me see what letters come out these are spiritual guys it could be your first, middle, or last initial, or it could be this person's, or even a nickname, okay? They're quite sure. Let me see what comes out. What else? What else? Okay. Okay, so there's an E. There's another E. Oh my God, here we go again. There's another E. Very significant in somebody's name here. Double E's or triple E's. Could be first, last initial, or in the name U. You have a W. You have a T. You have another T. You have an A. You have an I, which is also an H in spiritual dice, okay? And you have an S. But you already know me. I'm going to flip these motherfuckers. You got two T's and you got three E's. So I'm going to flip one of the T's and see what comes out. E. So... That's four E's, man. E's very significant here. Okay, so let me flip these two E's here. And then you stay with two E's. That's four E's. Oh my God. So you got B. You got B. And you got another E. E is very significant here for you or that other person. Let me try flipping another E, my God. Listen, it wants to stay into an E. So E is very significant here for somebody. You could have double E. Look, it just this one flip by accident by D. I mean to D, and that to me is always a sign. Listen, somebody here could have double E's in their names or triple E's or just E in every initial in your first, last, or even in nicknames. It doesn't matter. But it's very significant. I don't know. I want to turn it. Oh, let me see. I want to turn it. I can't. I want to turn it. An L came out. All right. I turned it. All right, Libras. I hope to help somebody out here. And I'm going to wish you the best of luck, okay? I'll see you later, my loves.